Oompa Boompa. <laughs> Today is a windy and sunny day, and Emma feels that it's a beautiful day to fly a kite with Leo and David. She has invited them to play in the park, but it seems that her friends are running late. Impatient, Emma looks at her watch, but something strange happens. The watch starts to vibrate and sparkle. Suddenly, everything around her is transformed, and Emma appears somewhere else. Now, all of a sudden, some strange things are happening to me," thinks Emma. It is a very large outdoor space. In the distance, you can see a space rocket and lots of people working around it. There's an inscription on the rocket. It says Vostok Six. There's a woman with short hair wearing an orange suit. Excuse me. I'm Emma. Who are you? Could you tell me where we are? Hi, Emma. I'm Valentina Tereshkova, and we're in the Soviet Union. Why are you dressed like an astronaut? Is it a space ranger costume? Is it Halloween? <laughs> It's not a costume. I'm about to go to space. I'll be the first woman to do it. Wow, that's amazing! How do you have the courage to do something like that? A few years ago, I jumped from a plane with a parachute for the first time. I love the feeling of being in the air and looking at the Earth from above. So when I found out that a woman in my country could go to space, I didn't hesitate to apply, and I was chosen. Also, if women can be railroad workers, why can't we fly in space? When Valentina was a child, she lived in a house near the railroad tracks, and she dreamed of driving a train every time she watched one go past. Years later, as a teenager, she discovered skydiving and loved it. She practiced the jumping technique at a flying club in her city. Thirty minutes to launch. Oh, I'm already a bit nervous, Emma. The moment is near. Of course you are. Do you want to meditate? At school, they taught us that meditation can help us if we're nervous. That would be great for me, Emma. What do you have to do? You can close your eyes and concentrate on your breathing. You can think of someone who inspires you for this mission that you're about to face. Who are you thinking of? Hmm. Let's see. I'm thinking of Yuri Gagarin, who was the first person to travel to space two years ago, and he's also from my country. Who are you thinking of? Hmm. I've met so many brave people. Sometimes I think of Joan of Arc or Amelia Earhart. Oh, Emma, they really were brave. Valentina and Emma close their eyes, breathe deeply, and meditate. Suddenly, their meditation is interrupted. Twenty minutes to launch is heard over the loudspeaker. Well, Emma, the show must go on. This meditation helped me. Thank you very much. Now, I must go fly like a seagull. I'm imagining you as a seagull, flying free, Valentina. That's what I'll do, Emma. And always remember that it doesn't matter what country you're from. Space brings us all together. Goodbye. Three, two, one. Emma watches the launch of the rocket that will transport Valentina through space. The noise gradually fades, and the rocket gets smaller and smaller until it crosses the blue sky and disappears into space. Valentina Tereshkova was born in the Soviet Union in 1937, and at just 26 years old, she was the first woman to travel to space. She orbited the Earth 48 times in three days. To date, Valentina remains the only woman to have traveled to space alone. Curious and brave people, clever and passionate people, there are people who changed the history of the world. And Valentina Tereshkova is one of them. 
Thanks for listening to this brave story. I'll see you next time. <laughs>